Hello, it is Bizarre Furhead coming back to YouTube after a very long absence. Today's project is going to be adding extra storage to my little tool cart via pegboard. So as you can see, I did a drive fit of my small bungee cords with the pegboard and a pair of pliers that I have in my box and it, and it looks to work pretty well although it may be better designed for screwdrivers or a pry bar or something like that if any of my of the viewers are familiar with the Matco muscle cart it has the same kind of system on its open doors or its swing doors that you need to open up before you can access the drawers and I plan on putting that on the side that the piece of pegboard is leaned up against here. So, first I, I did a drive fit of my bungee cords as you can see there. My six inch bungee cords of different colors. And my pegboard here. And I, I'm not sure if I need to tie a knot in one end of this to keep the bungee cord from coming out but since my dry fit went all right I'm going to go ahead and measure the opening on that side and get it ready and mark a piece out of my pegboard I'm going to cut it to rough length basically so it should be interesting to see how that works so I have my measurements marked out and I'm starting to cut and yes folks it is a handsaw a very short handsaw mainly because I can't find a proper handsaw and we don't have a saw that'll cut this besides the chainsaw and I mean to fire up the chainsaw to cut maybe what is that like quarter quarter inch stuff uh, it's kind of stupid so I have probably 13 more inches to go that way and 19 that way so I'll be here till like next week or something cutting pieces out And when you're working out in the shed doing a project, you need some sort of noise. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. So, I have my piece cut out, my first piece, and it's rough, so I have room to work with. And as you can see, it's quite large because I need to trim a couple rows off for it to fit and can't really put it there right now but as you can see it can't be one whole piece because the toolbox part sits on the inner rails here and as you can see it sticks out quite a bit on the back not so much on the sides but mainly the front and the back but yeah When you flip it on its side, it's about right. So I'm thinking, if I cut it, just make it a rough square basically, it'll be better than, than what it's at now. Because I think it's like 19 by 15, something like that. But I'll probably just make it a rough square, yeah. There we have a ruffian hillbilly out here somewhere. Well, there he is out by the door. I actually thought it was someone else. Okay. Well, let's get back to the task at hand. Yeah. I got a long way to go, don't I? All right. So I have my first piece cut out and I took Oh, 
I don't know, maybe I don't know, about half an hour. You cut that piece out with that little dinky hand saw. I tried using a Dremel with a uh, rough bit on it, but it's not the right kind of thing. Really need like a, a saw blade or a biting disc or something. But I, I, I have to look into getting one of those or something. But for now, you know, that, that's what I'm going for. I mean, this board is gonna be flipped 180 degrees, so it's sitting against this. And I think I'm just gonna have it bolted up to the outside. So in, in case if I do hit something with this, the pegboard will give into whatever it's hitting and it won't damage it like steel will. So that's the plan. I think I'm gonna give it up for tonight.